I am Swedish, so we don't really hope a lot nor fear that much necessarily. No very dramatic feelings, but um, so um, I guess a big hope is that. I mean, I'm you know I'm basically now a walking talking point, which wasn't really my my plan, but uh, is that the human rights framework is just fundamentally much more integrated into how uh, the tech sector uh, as well as other sectors that you know make use of the internet in whatever shape and form and even if we think more broadly not necessarily the internet but um, every other kind of digital technology that is uh, deployed in, in all industries all sectors you know and government and so on uh, if the human rights framework actually gets a fundamental place within that kind of ecosystem, I think the right questions will be asked from, from um, someone who purchases a digital solution or service from a company to ask, have you done your human rights due diligence? Have you looked at the, the risks here? What do I need to know to make sure that this is applied in a, in a good way? Uh, which would mean, if those questions are actually asked from someone purchasing those solutions, means that it would be a competitive advantage from the companies uh, producing them and developing them, so it would make sense for them at an early stage to, to consider human rights. And I, and I think that is, you know, if I dare to dream, that would be my best case scenario. Worst case scenario is just that status quo continues. It doesn't even need to get worse. I think uh, we're on a pretty poor trajectory uh, in terms of um, I think the, there's a really great uh, Swedish philosopher. Uh, he's good for not not just because he's Swedish, but it's called Nick Bostrom, um, that has this theory that I now don't know the name of, but basically means that at the current what we're currently doing is that we're just picking out a lot of uh, you know you have a big bowl of inventions, and currently we're going at maximum speed. We don't know what each ball you pick up is. Sometimes they are just you know net good. Sometimes they are new inventions that can be good or bad. But his theory is that there is basically a black ball, which just means that we will find something like a new nuclear weapon, which will just destroy any, everything. And I think what we're currently doing is we're just going maximum speed on on all levels, AI, what have you, and you know putting all the resources into just getting new technologies. And I think if we don't consider just human rights at the very, very beginning, uh, we will just, you know, the processing power that is out there now and that is, will be there in 10, 20, 30, 50 years, um, if human rights is not considered, it will just be detrimental to so many people. I think, you know, luckily, maybe you and I will be on the good side of that, um, but, but so many people will not, which will just be a really shitty society for everyone.